Hey folks, um, well I've been sitting here for the last few hours, just like I'm pretty sure most of you, watching what's going on in the world, protests and all this other stuff, people getting pushed back with tear gas and rubber bullets and paintballs and all this other stuff, just trying to make their voices known about an injustice that happened in this country. One thing that I've noticed that really disturbs me, especially going on the different social media um, threads that I have and different ones, how most people are concentrating more on the looting and all this other stuff as opposed to the reason why people are doing these peaceful protests in the first place. People are tired of seeing black men unjustly killed and for it to be broadcast for the world to see. Now for all my white friends watching this, asking online, like, you know, all lives matter, you know, why are you so angry? It's not like you knew the guy. You're right, I don't know the guy. I don't know any of the people that have been killed in just then. But for my white friends out there, I will ask you this. What if it was me? What if you woke up one morning and saw a video of me on the ground with four cops on my back seeing me peacefully protest saying, hey, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm cooperating with everything you want me to do. And you literally watch a video of me being killed for the world to see. Because it's possible. For you to not say it's possible is bullshit. It is possible. I look no different than George Floyd or Fernando Castile or Tamar Rice or, you know, Breonna Taylor. All these people that have been killed unjustly. The ch time for change is now. So. I will urge you, all of you out here watching, to try to do something. People that look like me are dying every single day for no reason, other than the fact they're black, just as black as me. So what are you going to do about it? If all of you out there who are praising Donald Trump and exalting him as his great leader and all this good shit, I watched a, a I watched a damn press conference this morning where he basically said that he would enact a, a law from 1907 in order to deploy U.S. troops on U.S. soil. To stop peaceful protesters. Now, if those of you thinking he's just focusing on looting, no, he's not focusing on just the looting. He's focusing on everybody that's saying no to him right now. He's making this about him. I can't support anybody who supports that. So if you are a supporter of Mr. Trump, unfriend me right now. I know some of you are good people inside. You have good you have good personalities, but if you can support that, I can't support you at all. And to all my brothers and sisters out there watching this, I love you all. No matter what race, creed, color you are, this is an unprecedented unprecedented time in U.S. history. I'm telling people have been telling me that it's actually worse than what happened uh, in '92 in the riots, and they've been living out here in California. It's just really frustrating. It's frustrating to know that 
All these people are dying simply because of the fact they want to live. The right to live. To all the upper people in government and all that good stuff. What is so scary about equality? They're not asking for money. They're not asking for a position anywhere. They just want to live. Just like you. Why is that so hard for you to understand? I'm I'm not a politician. I'm not some famous actor or anything like that. I'm just a guy. And I'm saying to whoever watches this. Change has got to come. And it's got to come now.